how it all started for me was I was a junior going into my senior year upon graduating from Southern University over in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And my um, my old man, my dad, told me um, that he wasn't paying my bills no more. And uh, man, that was a shocker to me and in going into my senior year and all I could remember, uh, this cannot be happening to me. And then during that nighttime, man, I cried the whole night and I started to pray. And then after I started to pray, the next morning, um, next morning, I asked for guidance as entrepreneurship. I asked God for it and he gave it to me. And my mind started clicking into entrepreneurship. And then my uh, my dad's business was going out, out of business. And I took over. Um, all the office supplies, and I gave an IOU to him, and I'll pay him, pay him his money back. And all around the community, I went uh, getting office supplies, other office supplies that I needed to start up community case management, which was substance abuse clinic where I uh, counsel um, kids in the educational system that's on Medicaid, uh, where I can get reimbursed for them for the services I provide was counseling, and that's how all got started at the age of 21 I, that's how that's how i made my first million dollars um and that's how it all started out i use everywhere and uh paid those people back and uh it was a very um awesome experience that was my first venture in entrepreneurship what? starting out in business it's number one do what you uh like to do because um you're going to be doing this 24 7 it's very hard. Don't let nobody tell you it's easy. It's very hard being an entrepreneur, but it's very rewarding uh, to see your um, dream uh, come to fruition. Well, well, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, that's my gift from the creator. So um, when I started on out my substance abuse, I got tired doing that, <clears throat> and I made a ton of money in the process. And at the time, the state of Louisiana shut me down because I made so much amount of money. And then um, at the time, it was cutting the program out. So uh, during that time, I started my own candy company and uh, with my cousin. And uh, Walmart loved my candy, Super One stores, Appleton stores, all in South Louisiana loved me. And they, were, they were about to put me nationally, but I had no money coming on in. That's another story for another time. Um, and then I went seven years. I went dead broke. At 25, I went dead broke. And uh, it took me seven years to come from that, that land of despair. And I couldn't think about entrepreneur, entrepreneurship and everything. But the creator was humbling, humbling me in that process because I was nothing nice uh, when I was a millionaire at a young age. So my brother called me and he said, Donnie, look, let's get back into the to the game, man. I'm like, cool, let's do it. And then I started doing uh, home care, long-term personal care, taking care of the elderly inside the home, taking care of daily living activities. That was awesome. I love dealing with the elderly. So I've done that for 10 years and that's how I made my second million dollars. Uh, and, and doing that. So I've done that for a long time. And this guy came and say, man, would y'all like to get into the cannabis business, man? It was like, you know, next big thing going on in Louisiana at the time. And it's like, sure. Me and my brother said, sure, we ain't got nothing to lose, man. So let's do it. So we put in our bid and went put in our proposal. He went in front of the board, the pharmacy board. It was very competitive. Now to get into the cannabis business, because I, I be asked this question all the time. You've got to have uh, money to get into the cannabis industry, to get into the, to, to that game. So um, we went on, uh, submitted our proposal, and we was awarded, awarded a license. We was one of the nine license holders in the state of Louisiana to be awarded a cannabis license. So that was a big success. Uh, we went through the ups and downs of the industry. It was very restrictive industry starting out into the cannabis industry. But now it's booming, it's flourishing now, ever since the passage of the flower bill starting on January 1, 2022, was able to sell flour. So right now, Louisiana is basically walking into the cannabis industry, and soon we will be running when legalization comes, when it's recreation. So that's how it all started for me, man, and we, we headed into the right direction, helping lots of people with health care issues. Um, that's what helps me the most, not making the money, but helping people 
with all type of diseases like PTSD, chronic pain, cancer, you name it, we're helping a lot of people with their ailments. So that's what makes me proud. That's excellent. I learned a lot. So I, so I appreciate you sharing that, especially about you know, helping helping individuals that are you know, having having different illnesses. So thank you for mentioning that as well. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll, we'll move forward and t- t- talk about your book. So my question is, in your book, Catch a Mouse with No Cheese, I love the title, <laughs> please describe your thoughts and share with our entrepreneurs that are listening about the importance of scaling your business. Well, I decided, I wrote my book in 2014, and uh, my, my title of my book is How to Catch a Mouse with No Cheese. I always knew when I started in business, I had a book in me, right? So everybody has a story. So what makes your story unique for people to be interested in reading your book? So I started my business off with no money, and and I knew I had something to give back. So I love giving back. Right now, I just started up my foundation and giving back here in Houston to the community. So um, I wrote my book, man. I, it discussed five principles you needed to be successful in business. And I want, I will discuss only one of them. The first principle I use is faith. You got to have faith in business because there's many times that that you will be tested and tried. But if your faith is strong, um, you will get through it. So that's the first principle I, I, I discuss in, in my book. And it goes throughout my book. I'll tell everybody how I started in business in detail and what these five principles that can help you out in business and plus in life. So um, that's what I discussed in my business, in my book. So, uh, which is very successful now. My book sold in six different countries. I've done multiple podcast interviews. And um, that's what I love to do, giving back to the community and um, helping others be successful entrepreneurs because entrepreneurship is very rewarding. Like they say, I want people to get off the plantation. It's good to start off uh, with a job, but eventually you need to start your own business because you can get fired from your job at any time. So um, be in charge of your own destiny. So entrepreneurship is, is, is what I like to do and tell other people get into their own dreams and goals and what they want to achieve in life. I just started on out my, uh, my foundation and the three goals um, that I started up my foundation was my parents was educators, right? So Number one, my first goal uh, of my foundation is to give school supplies year-round to need these students in underdeveloped um, school districts. So uh, uh, schools that need help in that school district. So I help here, here in Houston area, and we looking to expand nationwide uh, pretty soon. So, uh, and also we have an office in Louisiana also. Uh, my second goal of, of my foundation is to give scholarships to, um, to students that's majoring in business. Um, and that's the second goal of my foundation. And the third goal is to give a little seed money to budding entrepreneurs and financial literacy, because that's very important. That's something I didn't have starting out in business because I didn't come from money. Um, I needed financial literacy in order to help me uh, grow in business. So that's the three goals of my foundation, which I think can be very helpful to the community and also to budding entrepreneurs. And that's what I always wanted to do. Find me on, on my website at donnykeybooks.com. And also my book is on Amazon. Uh, my book is on Smashwords. My book is on uh, Apple. Also, it's on Walmart.com. It's everywhere. So all you have to do is Google my name, Donnie P. Um, my Facebook is Arthur Donnie. Um, my Twitter is Donnie P. Official. And my Instagram is Donnie P. Official. So in it, everybody can find me there. Um, they we. we can request a uh, signed copy of my book. I can mail it out to them. And also, if they want me to come speak to their group or organization or either their school, 
um, you can put in the quest through my email, donnyp7434 at gmail.com. So um, that's how you can get in contact with me.